Good afternoon. Welcome to the Daily Office. I'm Brother Bill, and this is Evening Prayer for Saturday, January the 8th. And please join me. O oh God, come to my assistance. Make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Bless the Most High, O oh my soul. Alleluia. Psalm 104. And please recite it with me. Alleluia. Bless the Most High, O oh my soul. Most High God, you are great, clothed with honor and majesty. You cover yourself with light like a garment, and you stretch out the heavens like a curtain. You lay the beams of your chambers in the waters, and you make clouds your chariot. You ride upon the wings of the wind, and you make the winds your angels and your ministers flaming fire. You laid the foundations of the earth, that it should never be moved. You covered it with the seas like a garment, and the water stood above the mountains. At your rebuke they flee. At the voice of your thunder they run away. They go up by the mountains, they go down by the valleys to the place which you have made for them. You have set a boundary which they may not pass, that they may never again cover the earth. You send the springs into the valleys which ruin among the hills. They give drink to every beast of the field. The wild asses quench their thirst. By them shall the birds of the air have their habitation, which sing among the branches. You water the hills from your chambers. The earth is satisfied with the fruit of your works. You make the grass to grow for the cattle and plants for the service of the children of the earth, that you may bring forth food from the earth and wine that makes our hearts glad and oil to make our faces shine and bread which strengthens our hearts. Your trees are full of sap, the cedars of Lebanon which you have planted, where the birds make their nests. As for the stork, the fir trees are her house. The high hills are a refuge for the wild goats and the rocks for the rabbits. And you appointed the moon for the seasons. The sun knows it's time for going down. You make darkness and it is night, where all the beasts of the forest creep. The young lions roar after their prey and seek their meat from God. And the sun rises, they gather themselves together and lie down in their dens. People go forth to their work and labor until the evening. O oh God, how wonderful are your works! In wisdom have you made them all. The earth is full of your riches. Alleluia. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit. As in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Bless the Most High, O oh my soul. Alleluia. A reading from the prophet Isaiah, chapter 61, beginning at verse 1. The Spirit of God Most High is upon me, because the Most High has anointed me. He has sent me to bring good news to the oppressed, to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and release to prisoners, to proclaim the year of the Most High's favor and the day of vengeance for of our God to comfort all who mourn, to provide for those who mourn in Zion, to give them a garland instead of ashes, the oil of gladness instead of mourning, the mantle of praise instead of a faint spirit. They will be called oaks of righteousness, the planting of the Most High to display his glory, they shall build up the ancient ruins. They shall raise up the former devastations. They shall repair the ruined cities, the devastations of many generations. Strangers shall stand and feed your flocks. Foreigners shall till your land and dress your vines. But you shall be called priests of Yahweh. You shall be named ministers of our God. You shall enjoy the wealth of the nations, and in their riches you shall glory because their shame was double, and dishonor was proclaimed as their lot. Therefore they shall possess a double portion, everlasting joy shall be theirs. For I, the Most High, love justice. I hate robbery and wrongdoing. 
I will faithfully give them their recompense, and I will make an everlasting covenant with them. Their descendants shall be known among the nations, and their offspring among the peoples. And all who see them shall acknowledge that they are a people whom the Most High has blessed. Here ends the lesson. Today we hear the prophet Isaiah proclaim his mission. And in my imagination, he is shouting with joy and jubilation. He's been anointed, ordained, to bring good news to the oppressed, to bind the broken hearts, to liberate the captives, release prisoners, proclaim God's favor, and to comfort all who mourn. Wow! How cool is that? Of course, we Christians of today see that this is a foreshadow of the ministry of Jesus. And certainly early Christians, the apostles and the disciples, saw Jesus in this light. It's part of the evidence, as it were, of Jesus' authenticity and credibility. The prophet has foretold, and now God's promise is fulfilled. And it seems to me that this mission of proclaiming the good news, given first to Isaiah and then to Jesus, has now become the mission of the church. And I mean the entire church, not just the corporate institution or the clerics. Each of us Christians have a share in the ministry to proclaim the good news. Now, I'm not talking about forcing your opinion on others. I'm not talking about knocking on the doors of strangers or standing in the uh, street corners with loudspeakers. I'm not talking about saving the saved. The mission in the words of Jesus, was to save those who needed saving. I'm talking about living your life in confidence and joy of Christ's salvation, and in a way that might have others ask you one day, what makes you so happy all the time? Then you can tell the story of God and of his love and the good news of Jesus. Take a few moments now to ponder the opportunities that you may have to personally bring good news and be an influencer of those around you. Amen. Show us your mercy, O God, and grant us your salvation. Let your priests be clothed with righteousness, and let your saints shout for joy. In you shall we lie down in peace and sleep, for only you make us dwell in safety. Make us a righteous nation that keeps your truth, that we may glory in your judgment. Let your way be known upon the earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy be always forgotten, nor the hope of the poor perish forever. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and renew a right spirit within us, and for all of your intentions. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. We are created by your word, O Most High One, and your creation tells your glory in all the earth. Hide not your face, but renew us each day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bless Jesus, my soul, and may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia.